Hey everyone, it's Dylan from the Black Forest Wood Company. So this week we are working on another set of those resin legs that you guys really liked. And then we didn't get a video up last week just because we've been so, so busy uh, with getting the new bay together. Uh, so if you guys stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to film the outro in the new bay and kind of show you the progress we've been making. And also before the video starts, uh, ring the bell, leave a like and subscribe. It really helps us out. So I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna be picking some Clara Walnut Burl for a custom cabinet we're making. Uh, the first sort of resin cabinet that we ever made was with Clara Walnut Burl. So it's pretty exciting to be using that and again. And if you guys haven't seen that video of our original Burl cabinet, here it is. And this is kind of what the client's trying to recreate somewhat um, we've definitely improved our construction on this quite a bit since uh, since this original cabinet like we were just using the traditional European style hinges where we use sauce hinges now um, we so that also allows us to use a thicker door I think this door is only about 21 mils thick or we can go with like a 38 mil thick door uh, so just a little bit nicer in that regard uh, I've got this stack of it Oh, I almost dropped my phone. I got this stack of it here behind me that uh, Joe and I are gonna be picking through. Essentially, our client kind of wants to recreate that original burl cabinet that we did. Um, so I'm gonna, we'll show you that whole process of us picking everything out. Um, we'll show you kind of how we prep it and then actually getting it placed in the mold and doing the pour for that. Yeah, that was nothing. Oh my God. Uh, uh, okay, get down. Whew. I don't like that feeling. I need donage. <laughs> yeah, it's it's usually not bad, but when we're when we're putting, when we're taking the stuff in and out of this container, you have like that much space. So it's, it's kind of scary. We actually had it happen once um, where my dad was unloading a lift, uh, an order that we got from GL Veneer of Redwood Burl and he dropped one uh, and it completely shattered and exploded. So I don't want that to happen. So Joe and I are laying out for a cabinet that's kind of the layout we're doing, and she wants it to look sort of like this cabinet. Um, so this is our stack of burls that Jerry came and milled like a year and a half ago now. And yeah, we're gonna lay them out in the CNC, get them flattened, and then we gotta do bark. Bark. He's inspecting. Is this side of this the other piece? Uh, yes. Actually? Yeah. I'm genius. Ooh. Charlie no. he was literally just sitting right here like just sitting down all night watching you <music> 76 or something Charlie <laughs> yeah it's 75 to my line so he likes to fight brooms. <laughs> he fights them. Putting together a big puzzle today. We're just gonna, we're not very good at puzzles, so we're just gonna fill all the middle with resin. <laughs> You're cheating. <laughs> it doesn't fit. Well, let's just make it a solid piece. <laughs> This is a special commission gift from Lisa to her husband, Jame. Uh, it is going to be a custom Clara Walnut gentleman's chest with smoky gray resin. And then this top piece should be cured up in about a week. Okay. Okay. 
better for filming yeah. or? Conservatively, and those are both political parties as well. Fun fact for the day. <laughs> I'm not being liberal enough. Or are you not being conservative? I'm being too conservative. Behind me here are our latest resin and wood legs that we've done. So I'll kind of walk you guys through a little bit on the construction and how we made them. So unfortunately we didn't get a video of the finishing. Um, Joe did that when we weren't here to film. But it's black walnut uh, in tinted resin. And then as you guys can see, we've actually glued everything up uh, with 45s in the corners instead of butt joints. Reason being is that's actually going to allow for kind of this continuous grain all the way around. You can see it here. So the wood actually kind of wraps and follows down. Obviously one corner won't line up. So like this corner you can see doesn't line up. So we're just going to put that towards the top so it's not seen. But overall, these things are, are looking really good. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Or when we did the floor, but it is messy now. Uh, however, we are beginning to get all of our large slabs stood up. So essentially, if you can imagine, by the time we're done, this whole thing is going to be completely full. Um, but we've just kind of got going on it. So we've got some shorter pieces here. We've got all of our tall stuff in this rack. We actually had to take the top right out of it. Um, here is all of our figured maple. So this is highly, highly figured, um, quilted, curly, all, all kinds of different figure in this maple here. Uh, and then we've got kind of our walnut section. We got a lot of big ones, big claro slabs. Um, but there, there's tons of stock here to choose from for people. So um, we're gonna try and be open on Friday for Black Friday. I, I don't really know how that's gonna be possible, but we're doing it. We, we don't care, however ready we are, we're opening those doors. Uh, and for those of you guys in Calgary, we really do hope to see you there. And then for you local people, we have got a whole bunch of sales happening this Friday for Black Friday. So you're going to have to go to the website to see everything. There's too much for me to even list here right now. Uh, the resin is on sale, the ceramics coming out, all kinds of stuff. So go click the link in the description if you guys are interested in that. Uh, and if not, well, thank you for watching anyway, and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> he just chases people. Box, Tomorrow. Um, are we getting like new power cord and box and possibly extensions for? <laughs> I know we're getting new power cord and box, but get it. <laughs> <laughs> you could get his tail if you had one. Oh. <laughs>